All right, we're back in the mining shed and it's becoming summer. So what do we have to do? Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to seal off this back. So right now there's, as you can see, you can see right through the shelving and we need to seal that off so nothing's coming back out towards us. And the way we're gonna do that is very simply, we're going to be uh, moving all of the servers to the very edge of this shelf so that all the exhaust is going to be uh, basically confined into this one area. And then we're going to seal off each one of these patches. So you see how there's a big patch up here? It's going to be flush and we're going to seal that off with a thermal, uh, thermal um, cover. And you'll see that here in a bit. We're also going to be upgrading uh, the networking. So while we have these down, we're going to be revamping the entire networking, and I'll show you that when we get to it. But for now, we got to shut these off, and we got to we got to seal this section off completely so that there's only one place for the heat to go. We're going to cut it off here at the top, and uh, just make sure that all the heat is just exiting there. So it's going to take a long time, but we got to do it, and that's the creation of the hot aisle. Okay, so we're done the hot aisle stuff. That took quite a bit because I had to custom cut. Uh, basically, we repositioned all of the miners so that they're as dense as possible. And then we had to cut this um, protection, this thermal protection or whatever it is, uh, to seal off that aisle. But everything's powered in now. Uh, we got a few gaps that we'll fix, but uh, now we have to get onto the networking and that is going to be a pain in the butt because we have, um, we have to remove both of those switches. We're going to have to deal with all of this networking. We're going to rejig it and then we're going to install a new switch. So I got to create a mount for the new switch and we got to pull all that out and then we got to organize it properly so that they're to length and labeled. I don't have them labeled, so I need to label them. So that's what's next. Uh, it will look amazing once it's done, but yeah, a lot of work. Awesome. We have finally finished the hot aisle. There's definitely some things that we're going to have to change. Uh, there's just a temporary roof up at the top here, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But um, everything is up and running. We condensed uh, all of the units to be as compact as we possibly could so that uh, we only had to basically focus on these areas and then we can shield off these other uh, larger areas here. Uh, we've just finished installing these three Octominers from my final client. Uh, he might be bringing in more because he's really not using a lot of power actually. Um, so uh, we've got still, you know, over half a circuit to still use for that one. But let me show you what we did here. Uh, it was really, really a lot of work. Like I said, we compacted everything so that it's basically filling up the whole shelf and we only had to fill in small gaps where uh, to create the hot aisle. All of the units are pushed right to the back of the cage and I'll show you that in a minute. And basically, yeah, that's it. So it dropped about 15 degrees in here alone once we did that. We also did a whole bunch of networking, but um, I ended up having to take out, we replaced three switches with that one 50 port, uh, 52 port switch. So if you take a look here, each one of these cables is hand run, uh, which was kind of a pain, and I could only get specific cables, the thin ones here, to fit here because if you take a look here, I ended up buying a 90 degree power adapter and then having to cut out a hole so that this could actually fit in here. Uh, it's a really tight squeeze, but all of the cables are connected. We've got uh, six free, free ports here and we've got two gigabit ports free up there. The rest of them are uh, taken up by all of these units. So we've got about eight free spots left on this managed switch. We replaced three switches. So we got rid of a ton of clutter, a ton of complication in the network, and we replaced it with this one massive 52 port uh, managed switch, which was always the plan. Um, so everything else is going great. We've got our two Infinity, AC Infinity uh, monitors here, which are for Wi-Fi as well. 
So that means that you can't really see it because of the glare, but uh, that means I can control these from anywhere. And they're both set, uh, they're controlling six exhaust fans, which we're gonna go take a look at right now. One sec. All right, so I got the temporary door open. This is gonna be replaced with an actual wooden door, uh, but we're also going to be replacing this because right now that's intaking uh, the cold air. That's actually keeping this, this whole room really nice and cold, uh, especially now that we don't have the heat bellowing out. We do have a temporary uh, rooftop for the exhaust here, which is going well. And now I'll take you into the heat cave. All right, let's see if you can see anything in here, but here we are. Oh, let's get inside here. And you can see how everything has been pushed to the edge of the shelf. So there's no gaps. Every unit is on top of itself. There you go, look at that. All the networking has been run and all the units are pushed basically so that it's flush with the shelf. And that goes for here too. So you can see that we have basically tapered off the portions that are not uh, in use. And down here for the Opto miners as well. And all of that is getting sucked out with these six AC Infinity fans, which is awesome. I'm really happy how this worked. And you can tell that basically all the heat is just getting funneled right into this hot aisle. I have room to work, uh, space to work. Everything is cable managed. Uh, all of the wires are pretty much well tight so that I'm not gonna trip on anything back here. There's nothing on the ground. And all these units are just pumping the hair right into that uh, out the shed. And yeah, it looks awesome, man. I'm really happy with how it came, came uh, out. And uh, what we're gonna end up probably doing is I'm gonna replace the roof here with uh, a custom piece of wood so that I can just take it off and put it on. Uh, and then we're gonna have, like I said, we're gonna have the door that closes here. And the AC will be cooling the room right now. Uh, this is doing a good job. It's still a little bit cold in Canada, so that is just pumping in the cold air from outside and keeping this area cool. And yeah, you can see it's 19 degrees here, uh, 19 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but with all of these machines cranking at 100%, uh, for it to only be 19 degrees in here is insane. So there's a huge delta um, basically at the back there. I think it's like 38 degrees or 40 degrees. Uh, but in here it's nice and 20 degrees and balmy. So really happy with how this turned out. The networking was awesome. I had two switches in here before if you've seen my other videos. Uh, and then I even had a third switch that was up here because I had an, uh, another client send me stuff. So all of those three switches were maxed out, replaced it with this managed switch. I'm so happy that it was able to fit in here. And we've got eight, eight spots left. I do have two desktops coming from one of my existing clients and those are gonna go down here. So basically we're just going to cut uh, the holes for the desktops, plug them in and say la vie run two more networking cables and that's it so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this stuff this took like eight hours to do because i had to rearrange all of the units and then the, the networking like i said took forever so we're pretty much well at capacity here i'm really proud to say that it's a, a great success and stay along for the ride because we got a couple more things on the way and the warehouse we are in the middle of bidding so stay tuned guys